But do we know how the brain makes, quote, mind? No, we don't. If we don't know how the thing that we're affecting works, well, the beauty of it is the tools that we develop help us to understand that. So the issue here is that there's something ticking away within your cranium that makes you, you. If I'm able to, in some way, assess and affect this thing that is in at least some way demonstrably and perhaps to a large extent responsible for making you, you, your persona, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, well, look at the power that that can yield. We like to talk about influencing hearts and minds, but this is a question of influencing brains to influence hearts to then influence minds, to being able to utilize ever more sophisticated anatomical and molecular probes to understand the brain at a variety of ever more nuanced and granular levels, and ultimately to not even have to intervene with the actual structure of the brain, but to be able to assess the brain in real time utilizing convergent forms of neuroimaging coupled to a host of neuroelectrophysiological techniques. This is something that fits in the palm of your hand. Every hope, every dream, every thought, every aspiration, everything you love, everything you hate fits in that organ. Everything that humanity has ever done and will be is a consequence of that organ's function. Once again, we're talking about power. Our brains develop as a consequence of their embodiment in me. So what the brain sciences are helping to do is to figure out both what brains have in common and what brains have in difference. Now, the beauty of that is, through the iterative use of big data, what we're able to do is to create large-scale patterns, maps, atlases of not only individual brains, but groups of brains, and use these things comparatively and normatively. The more we know, the bolder we go. It creates an opportunity to affect the way humans think, feel, and behave on a variety of levels. And those levels don't only extend within the individual organism. In other words, being able to affect thought, emotion, behavior with regard to ranging all the way from the synaptic to our social interactions individually. But it also allows us to then exert certain levels of intellectual assessment, knowledge acquisition, and control about human relations on the individual to cohort to group to community to local, regional, even global scale.